another video that is fetal circulation. Now this fetal circulation is very, very important. If you do not understand how the fetal circulation is, you won't be able to understand how the changes take place to convert it to, to adult circulation. So first thing that you should know is the oxygenated blood is coming from the placenta, not from the lungs. Whereas in adults, you see that oxygenated blood is coming from the lungs. There is no role of placenta. But in the fetal circulation, placenta plays a very important role. And as you can see here in this diagram, this is a picture showing you the fetal circulation. And there is another picture to compare it with the adult circulation that we will talk when we will uh, keep on discussing the topic. So the placenta is the main stage in this whole fetal circulation. From the placenta, oxygenated, highly oxygenated blood is entering the umbilical vein and through the left branch of portal vein, as you can see here when we talked about the development of portal vein, this, this is the right branch of portal and left branch of portal vein and this is left umbilical vein. The left umbilical vein is the only vein that is left. So this left umbilical vein enters the left branch of portal vein and through there it goes to the ductus vein. The thing here is umbilical vein having the highly oxygenated blood, part of it enters into the substance of the liver and goes to the inferior vena cava, whereas major portion of the oxygenated blood is entering through the ductus venosus and going to the inferior vena cava. Now this as shown in red, so inferior vena cava is having highly oxygenated blood which enters the right atrium and from the right atrium it goes through the foramen ovale, this is foramen ovale, to the left atrium, right? So, something is entering like this and going to the left atrium, whereas from the superior vena cava, the blood from the brain and upper limb is coming into the left atrium that is deoxygenated blood and it is directly going to the right ventricle. Fine, so there is mixing of blood from the inferior vena cava as well as from the superior vena cava in the right atrium. But majority of the portion is entering the foramen ovale going to the left atrium and this is highly oxygenated blood. Means it is fairly rich in oxygen. Whereas from the superior vena cava the blood is entering to the right ventricle going to the pulmonary artery to the lungs. Right? Now in this left atrium where the blood is fairly rich in oxygen is entering the left ventricle and from the left ventricle it goes to the aorta. In the aorta, upper half of the body, that is the brain and upper limb are supplied by highly oxygenated blood. Whereas when the aorta is supplying blood, it gets mixed with the ductus arteriosus blood that is poorly oxygenated. Now this poorly oxygenated blood enters the placenta through the umbilical artery for purification and this aorta is giving blood to the lower part of the body that is moderate in oxygen content. Right? Now this, both these things, that is the placenta giving highly oxygenated blood and from the lower part of the body, the blood is entering here through the ductus venosus going to the liver and the cycle is wholly repeated. So this is how the fetal circulation is. This is ductus arteriosus, mixing of blood takes place from the ductus arteriosus and from the aorta. Aorta giving pure blood to the brain and upper limb and then in the lower part of the body it is because of the mixing of the blood in the ductus arteriosus which is purely oxygenated, this is impure blood which goes to the placenta for purification. That is how the fetal circulation is. I hope